feral ghouls to the continuation of my let's build a Teffington greenhouse? Waterhouse? Something. I don't know. So, uh, you guys are awesome. Um, general consensus, everybody loves the roads, uh, so we're definitely keeping those. And you guys came up with some fantastic ideas on what to do with all this gravel and dirt. And so we're going to jump right into it, because um, you guys had suggested, uh, you know, maybe do some sort of construction site. And so I sort of began to plan around that. And then I had another idea that I thought was really awesome. And then when I started doing some test runs on that, I had an even better idea. And we're going to go straight to that. Um, if I can remember where the thing that I'm looking for is. I think it's in here. All the way here. So, uh, after the construction thing, I started uh, coming up with an idea. And um, we had this nice hole right here, in a sense. And... Uh, my idea was to put a meteorite crashing into it, and I had done a little test run and put some like little bits of fire and rock debris, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then, while I sat there and thought about it, I came up with this: we are going to put this in place instead. This is going to be a spaceship, alien spaceship crash landing site. Um, how cool is that? I mean, this guy is going to go right into the ground into that hole right there it's going to look like he you know dug up the ground and shot debris out in all different directions and we're going to put some fire and stuff throughout here as well let's uh put this over here we don't need that just yet and um yeah that's uh what we're gonna do so um i actually have to disconnect my controller for a moment this is going to be a little time consuming because i have to change there we go, the access of this, because I want it to look like it's actually diving right into the ground. So, uh, let's see, is that a shallow enough angle, maybe? Something like that, we'll go with that. Alright, let me put my controller back in here. It's going to take me a few seconds, because I'm doing this wirelessly, so I don't have so many cables uh, interfering. Let's see if we can get you to connect. Come on, reconnect. There we go. Okay, we're in business. Now we're going to take this sucker. Kaboom! Right into the ground, just like that. How awesome is that? And that's exactly what I was hoping it would look like. That's really cool. And, uh, you know, we got the angle here. It looks like it just went right into this and pushed up all that dirt. And, um, very cool. Now, let me see. Ooh, yeah, that's even better. Let's, uh, bonk, just like that. And, of course, we're not going to leave it just like this. I mean, that's... That's cool in itself, but we gotta actually make this look like it uh, is actually in the ground and uh, crashed here and caused all kinds of havoc and and uh, so we're gonna go over to I think CVC and let's see decorations and I think some of what I'm looking for there we go some effects um, let me turn off my ground snapping there and uh, no we don't want regular mist we want like some smoke smoke. Where's my little... Let's see, how is that? Eh, that's not enough. Get rid of it. And we also want some, some fire stuff. Let's see, how much smoke does that billow out? That's kind of cool. We can probably use that guy right there. Maybe we'll put that, like, here. Or actually, no, I want to put some, uh, some stuff coming out of the vents there. So let's just stick that there for the moment. Um, we do not need roaches. Um... I think, oh jeez, where's the other one that has uh, effects? Is it SOE, maybe? Let's check SOE. One of these has got to have the effects I'm looking for. Um, or maybe it's under decorations. Hang on, let's see what's in here. No, all right, go back into decorations and then SOE. It's not that one. I think it's this one. Um, there we go. Yeah, we need some fire. Just like uh, Beavis from Beavis and Butthead Fire! We'll stick a little guy right there. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll we'll have some of these leaves here on fire. I'll put like little fiery pits all over the place. Even get some massive ones. Make this look like it's... There we go. And, uh, so now if we exit, those little triangles disappear and boom. How cool is that looking? All right, uh, let's get back into this. Um, where would my little smoke thing go? Maybe we'll just take you and stick you here. 
Or maybe over here. No, we'll stick you on this one. Combine you. Boop. Get a little smoke effect coming off of that. And nope, we don't want water. Why did that send me over to water? What are you doing? Why did it go back? You dummy. Yeah, I don't know why it does that to me sometimes. It's the, the weirdest thing when I am in something and then come out of it and then it just like zips me over to a like random weird place. Alright, so let's throw a little more fire here. Maybe we'll put some actual fire on top of this thing. Maybe like right here in the back. Let's put some fire right around here. Why not, right? Just to really set it up. Oh, look at that. How cool is that looking? Nice. Alright. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for fire? Whoa, I don't think we need anything that drastic. Alright, let's go check out some of the smokes, too. Um, small. Cryo. This is one of the ones I was thinking of. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna stick it, like, maybe right here. Let's see how that looks, what that does. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do that uh, with a couple of these vents. Because why not, you know? Oh, if I can get up there. There we go. Let's uh, bring you right about there. Uh, nice. We'll do the same thing on this one over here. This way it looks like, you know, he had his little engine going and had some engine trouble. Maybe there was a uh, crabby... Super mutant with a missile launcher saw it and was like, Rawr, get rid of that thing. And I don't understand technology and shot it. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we can do something here too. Maybe one of these guys. Just to kind of create the effect of this thing actually being functional and it did something. And yeah, that's cool. I like that. All right. Oh, we can put some sparks in here too. Uh, let's see. I want some big sparks, though. Where's the one with the big sparks? That's pretty cool. That's even better. So maybe we'll throw a little something like that in there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're going to town with this one. Yeah, maybe there's a missing panel here, and we got some random sparks shooting out. Add a little more effect to this one here. Put in a little bit of that. Um, let's see. Maybe some red sparks coming from this fire section here because we can, right? Let's throw you like right there. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's turn that off so all those things disappear and kaboom. Now we're starting to cook. Literally. <laughs> Alright. Um, but we're not done. We need some more smoke and fire and some uh, stuff over here. Like, this just got all kinds of shoved in here. No, initially, um, I hadn't planned on the UFO being as big as it was. I was going to build a house here and have it look like the house got kind of clipped on its way in. But, um, well, maybe we still have some room. I, you know, we'll just have to cover up the guard tower there a little bit. So, uh, we'll work on that. Uh, in the meantime, let's, uh, actually, let's uh, do a quick save so I don't lose this, uh, information just in case things crash. Now, um, I'm going to go all the way back over to CVC because they've got some really cool things in here for um, dead trees. I mean, I could stick like burnt tree in here or something. Maybe this thing like caught on fire. Um, see if there's any like bent over broken ones. And as you can see, the original trees are glitching back into place. Nah, nothing I really liked. Okay. Um, no, we don't need fungus. Uh, let's see. Got a stump. I think we'll get... Maybe we can find, like, another section of tree or something. So we'll put that there just for now. Maybe I can find, uh, a section of tree laying down. I think I do have that somewhere. Um, now I want to throw, like, some rock debris around. Like, some of these places. I think I have, uh... One of these has like a pink rock field. Maybe actually it's over over here. Let's take a quick look into uh, Grounded. Grounded's got some really cool stuff. Um, decor, sidewalks, rocks. There's one that's got like a whole bunch of rocks all together, I think. 
Maybe not. <laughs> uh, there we go. Something along this kind of... I wanted it to look like... Oh, he's got shot over here. And we're going to put... Maybe some fire on these two if I can decide which ones I like better. Um, I'll just throw these like that. And uh, we're going to make these... Yeah, we're going to put these on fire. And... Let's go back to... Add some smoke as well. Alright, if I can get myself to control here. Um, oh, wait, no, was that under decorations? Pardon me. Back to FX. And let's get some fire here. Uh, get some big fire for this guy. There we go. But that looks like it's doing its thing. Get some little fire for that one. And a little fire on that one. And maybe another big fire on that one. Then, uh... Add some smoke to these guys. Let's see how much smoke does that put off. Ooh, nice black smoke. I like that. All right, let's stick you in there. And let's see, what do you look like? Give off a little smoke. I don't know. Not enough. Not enough for my taste. Um, you got some blue smoke coming out. Some red. And, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll throw some of that in there too. It's giving off some kind of funky radiation or something now. Uh, I'll just shove some of that in here as well. Let's see. There we go. Now <laughs> it's starting to fit. Uh, this is how my crazy mind works. I come up with uh, some crazy stuff like this, and yeah, we don't need that menu. Um, yeah, so now we're actually going to be utilizing uh, the little hole here. So I had somebody recently ask me, like, how do I come up with these uh, big elaborate builds and um, basically this is the type of thing that I was talking about. Uh, I gave you some advice in uh, the um, the comments and I said like some of the biggest stuff that I look for is um, I examine the landscape to find natural little things like this that are kind of cool that kind of fit that I can work with that I can do something with and um, I also like to pick themes like I mean if you look at this like all of that over there is gonna be like my whole water theme I'm gonna put a whole bunch of buildings out there etc and then um, I have to utilize this uh, hole and this stuff going over my walkway and my road and so that's basically what I'm doing here is uh, using my natural topography to kind of create these little things and that's how I'm able to come up with crazy stuff like this, you know, and just look around and everybody come up with the whole idea of doing something with construction. And sure, that works, that's fine, but we got to put some kind of pizzazz into this, so we're going to add all kinds of funky things in here. Um, I want to go back to CVC, whoops, and uh, try some of the rocks and stuff from here. Um, let's see, dead trees, you just gave me. Let's see. Oh, wow, that's a big cluster of stuff. I don't want any of that garbage. Um, I'm looking for... No, eh, you don't really have what I'm looking for. Um, but anyway, I want to go back into the the rocks. Um, so I can scatter some more rocks about here. And uh, let's see. Got this. Throw some, some debris around, too. Just to kind of make this look a little more something. Like it really was like a just giant thing that just messed everything up and totally tore this place up. So, this way we give it some, some character, you know? Oh, we got a floating rock here. We can't have that. We're gonna lose a few, but whatever. And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of spread this out, some more smoke and fire to kind of go along with this. Um, go back over into here, go back to our FX, because we have the movies. <laughs> I'm not affiliated with them in any kind of way. It would be nice if they would pay me some money to advertise, but whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just put like a little bit of a little bit of fire in down in here and and over in here, and uh, get some smoke. Want some smoke? Lots of smoke. Make this uh, seem like we got ourselves a humdinger. And there we go, we have an alien spaceship crash landing site. How cool is that? So, now, 
along with that, let's see. I don't know if I have them in here. Um, not that. Barricades, maybe. Let's take a look in here. Oh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Maybe. Let's see. Um, hmm. No. All right, let me try. There's some specific stuff I'm looking for that uh, I want to use to kind of fence off the area. I can find exactly the look I'm going for. Military, that, uh, that's not too bad. Um, not quite exactly what I want, but... Alright, uh, what else do we have? Covenant wall, no, definitely not. No, I don't really want to use the jersey barriers. I mean, I suppose I could for the road. You know, we can put something like this here. Kind of... Yeah, there we go. To kind of keep people from driving into this. <laughs> and whatnot. I mean, that kind of... That kind of works. You know, push that over there a little bit. Uh, kind of put that one on an angle so it doesn't look too intrusive. And, uh... Yeah. Let's see. What else do we have here? Um... Ah, these are the bad boys. Um, I unfortunately don't have ones that blink. That's something I've been meaning to do for quite some time. So, uh... Yeah, maybe we'll just put a couple of these in place. Just to kind of keep people from wandering into here. And something along that. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, let's put, uh, put two of these. Why not? Put another one here. Because we can. Um, I have seen ones uh, available that do blink, but I just don't have them, and I always forget to go looking for them, so we're just going to have to kind of kind of deal. But it's not the end of the world, so... Uh, I mean, it sort of is, since the aliens are here crashing into our, our settlement, but whatever. Uh, Alright, let me get back to my Jersey Barrier. Where were you? Back here. I'm going to put one more in here. Just to kind of close that whole area off. And uh, now I think... Um, one more thing, I think. Let's see. Uh, oh, these are just kind of beams I thought I had. Let's see. Try any. Nope. Try these. All wall ones. I know I've seen it before. Let's see. Alright, so I got some laying down things. I've used it in one of my settlements before, um, but I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. I had, like, an actual um, piece of tree that lays out uh, flat, like, horizontal that I've been able to use for um, for this type of thing. Um, I used it to make a bridge when I did my settlement at the, um, the quarry. But I'm not exactly finding it. I don't remember where it is, so that might be something we have to come back and do at some point. I'll put a knocked over tree section right in there or something like that. Um, unfortunately I don't have any access to any dead alien bodies to, uh, kind of, you know, strewn about in here, etc. But, um, you know, I can only do what I can do, so... Um, all right, we're going to stop with that for the alien spaceship anyway. And let's come back into snappy builds. I want to start to build a house that looks like it got, um, you know, decapitated here by this alien spaceship. So we're going to go right into our regular small town um, house here. And let's put a simple foundation in place. Maybe the house was that big. And, let's see, gonna work, maybe I should bring it over here a little more, and it could be a straight cut down like that, so we're gonna make this like a two-story house, and lose a good chunk of it, because that's what we're doing. Um, I think I'm gonna have to change the texture of it, because I need some broken walls, and I think I can find some of that, um here. Let's see. Try a simple white wall texture. Yeah, because kind of this is what I was thinking of using. Um, 
Let's see if I had any broken broken walls. I mean, we have like some broken pillar section there. We have a <laughs> sort of broken wall there. Um, hmm. These all seem to be facing the wrong way. I mean, these kind of work. So we might be able to use those. Um, Alright, so we're gonna work with, I guess, a white building, right? There's some damaged floors that may or may not come in handy. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to use me. I don't think there's any damaged wall parts in this thing, so we're just going to go straight to a white brick house and start with that. So let's put a door here, and for now we're just going to put in a basic house design to see if I can make this work the way that I want it to. So we'll go ahead and put that there, and... Sort of, and so maybe we'll just take out like this corner piece. Like I just want to. All right, so let's go back to our interior and our brick and our white brick. And let's see what do we have. It's down this way. Not much. All right. So, oh, wrong section, you dum dum. Back over here. So maybe let's see. Is that gonna snap? That's not gonna snap. Of course you won't. Just finagle this. Just put that in place like so. And so, yeah, that looks like a damage something or other. And then we can maybe throw, like, this bad boy in here. Just for now, just until I figure out. Or, hmm, ah. Oh, maybe, like, it came through that or came through this way through it. And then, well, we can put that over here. Oh, look at that, it snapped. See, look at that. It just, like, chopped right through there. That's that's pretty good. Um, which means maybe I should take that out then and get, like, half a wall section in here and kind of do that deal. I think I like that idea better. So let's take those out and scrap that one and put... Um, Oh, that's why, because this is, yeah. Um, yeah, these are supposed to be interior pieces, so they don't really like to play nice. They're only one-sided, see, now you can see it. Um, so let's get rid of that, hang on. Let's go back into uh, our shell kit and use our regular white walls. Let's put, um, actually, let's go back over to this section, get our white walls from here, and... Oh uh, yeah, we gotta move you over to there. And uh, we're, I'm not too concerned about the interior here, so it's not that big a deal if it's not, you know, finished and whatever. Um, for now, we'll snap those into place, and let's see how our angle looks. So, what I want to do is I'm gonna lower this down because we're already kind of in that section there, have some more coverage, and now I can take my other... Where am I? Over here, back over here. My other little guy that I had found... Wait, where did I go? What did I do? Over here, dummy! <laughs> my other little section I found. Wait a minute, over there. There we go! Um, yeah, I can shove some of this type of stuff in here to make it look like it was just chopped. Uh, we'll fix that over a little bit. So that looks more gnarly, and we'll blend this in a little better. Uh, and we'll do something. Yes, let's bring that over here. And kind of hide that in like that. And uh, there we go. Now it's looking like it went straight through. How cool is that looking? So again, like I said, I'm not concerned at all with the inside. Um, so let's go back over to our shell kit, get our white wall parts, um, back over to here. Let's just throw a regular... Come on, get back in there. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then I'm also going to go back into this to get some more damaged parts for over here. So let's put, uh... 
something like this. Let's just get the very tippy toppy of that. Throw some more damage into that section and yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Maybe we'll try to put a little more of this in here. Not too, too concerned if things stick out a little bit here and there. Again, we just want this to look as gnarly as possible. Like this thing just crashed through and took out a big chunk of the house. Um, okay, let's go back to our shell kit real fast. Uh, put some more house in here. Just for now, just for the heck of it, we'll do something like that. And maybe I'll even take this one out and we'll make this seem like it went straight through that section down like that. How does that look? Um, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Maybe uh, we can throw in... Oh, I have the idea. Hang on. I already did it, so let's do it again. Go back into here, back into brick. Brick. And we can do the same thing like this, but uh, other way. At least the other way. Turn around. Like that. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, you suck. Alright, <laughs> let's just turn snapping off just so I can do this myself. We'll uh, try to make it look as even as possible. Hey, that's not too bad. And look at that, it looks like it came straight down and just whoosh. But uh, yeah, the more I'm looking at, I think we might have to do some more damaged wall section uh, down through this lower section too. Um, yeah, because I kind of want it to go down this way. All right, so let's uh, let's do some of that then. Let's put you here maybe. And, uh, we'll unfortunately have to undo some of that. Um, take that out and that, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take all that out. Uh, kind of replace that because I wanted to let's see how does that line up that is pretty funky so maybe let's uh let's retool this a little bit and put in regular wall real fast this is my perfectionist part of me going nuts with this so um let's put in just a half wall here so you can connect oh yeah I turned that off hang on let's put that back on let's put you there um for now Actually, let's do it like that. Uh, let's take you out. Put you... There. Let's see. If I move you... Here. Let's see how that looks for trajectory-wise. Um... That actually looks better on this side, but on the other side it's it's not... not jiving. So we're gonna just take that section out. And, uh, I'll put maybe some sort of angled damaged piece there if I can. Uh, let's see. Brick, white brick, damaged. Let's see. Maybe we can make our own angled piece here. Let's kind of... It doesn't really matter if there's, like, sections of this, because this is all supposed to be, like, seriously damaged anyway. So we'll just have to make sure we don't go in the window there. So kind of fit that in. That's looking pretty cool. Alright. Um, you're gonna use... Yeah, that guy right there. Let's uh, kind of fade that into that. Make it look like you know it's not <laughs> solid straight pieces. Oh, and I love how it's burnt too. That's, that's awesome. That's gonna add to the whole funkiness of it. Look at that. Perfect. Now we're starting to cook. Alright. So let's... Uh, Let's put another piece in here. What else do we got? Yeah, let's go with this dude. Throw this little guy in here. Uh, put that in there. And then, let's see, what do I have that's kind of... That might work. I want to throw that in up to the top here so that we don't really have a straight cut on anything. But this kind of blends in. Let's uh, go with that for the moment. And then uh, let me pull that out. It kind of sticks out a little, covers it. Uh, there we go, that's looking better. I'll kind of do the same on that one a little bit. Just so we don't have too much of that straight cut of that wall right there, because I really don't want that to look um, 
like its own solid piece, basically. So we're going. There we go. Nice. All right. Now we're cooking. So I'm going to kind of follow that same theme with uh, down here as well. Let's uh, get you into place. Need you in. Uh, you got to come out a little bit. Let's uh, give you a little love tap like that. And that's uh, not too shabby, but I want to... Yeah, there we go. And same thing with this. We're going to kind of move that over a little bit. And let's continue on. All right, what else we got? Uh, let's throw this bad boy in here. Yeah, and I'm not too, too concerned with uh, how perfect everything looks. I'm just going for this kind of funky something or other that, you know... This house was just completely destroyed and obliterated by this whole thing. Um, let's throw a different section in here. Uh, that works. All right, cool. And um, let's see. Do we want any more? Maybe another little vertical piece here. Something different. Let's uh, let's throw something like this in here and leave a little bit of a gap there. And then we'll fill that in with. A little bit of this. There we go. There's our crash scene. That's looking pretty funky. That's pretty cool. And like I said, again, I'm not too worried about what the inside looks like. Um, we're going to need some more foundation and whatnot over there to, uh, to kind of fix that little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick save here. And, um... Yeah, we might have to... I might have to re-kinda do that. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it from that angle, just because of how wide this this spaceship is. But, um... Yeah, I might uh, bring that over even further. Um... That's gonna really start cutting into that, though. But, I don't really care, because, uh... This is my settlement. I can do whatever I want. So, I think that looks pretty darn cool. Um, but I do think I am probably going to change that wall just a little bit to, uh, make it fit a little better. But first things first, I want to put in, um, another small piece of foundation here. Um, I said small. I said small. How small is that? That's maybe something like that. Um, let's see. Oops. Um... There we go. That's going to make it work. And then, yeah, the ladder still works there. All right. And let's get rid of that because I have to put in a whole new thing here. So let's go back over to this real fast. Back to our damaged walls. Uh, let's see. Love all these cool damage sections. Yeah, we can throw something like this up in here. Um... That actually probably would have worked for doing that to keep it from looking too square, but um, stick this over here for now because we are probably going to end up using that. Um, can't use that one. That's really small. Um, yeah, we might have to piece things together again like we've been doing. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's see. Let's uh, stick that bad boy in there. And maybe let's take you then. Put you here. Just for now, let's, kinda, let's see. There we go. Put that in place like so. And then we're gonna have to unfortunately lose that guy there. And I will put in like a second story here as well at some point to uh Make it look like a lot of that has been chopped out. All right, just to finish this real fast, let's uh, switch back over to here. Back into here, onto our white brick. And let's put some of that, of that, just to finish off the exterior as needed. Um, back over here. Need some of these guys to finish off the things and we will tackle the corner sections at another point and 
Yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty funkadelic. Let's see. Boom. That is how you do it. Uh, yeah, I'll put some smoke and fire and some more details into that house. We're going to, like I said, put a second story in there that's going to make it look like it got chopped off. And uh, I'm going to see, I think I have access to some... Uh, brick debris as well, hopefully some white stuff, I think I can find that through like CVC, and uh, yeah, we'll continue on with doing that, and then <laughs> we'll get back into the real settlement uh, at some point, but I mean, that come on, that looks pretty darn cool right, that's a good use of that to, um, yeah, I like it uh, let me know uh, if you guys like that if you think it's pretty cool, or if you think I should get rid of the whole thing um, if you say I should get rid of it, I I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to keep it because I think it looks pretty cool. I think that's pretty unique. And um, as we all know, aliens do exist in the Fallout universe. So it is still canon. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, thank you all for the awesome idea of doing some sort of construction something or other to kind of utilize it. And I took your idea and I totally twisted it. And I hope you all really, really like it. Um, and I made the announcement in my settlement video yesterday on Sunday, or no, I'm sorry, uh, by the time you see this, this will be Friday, which, uh, you will understand by now that I am actually making videos for, uh, the Let's Build twice a week. So, uh, yes, this is a Friday now that you are watching this, I'm recording this way ahead of time. Um, you will see Monday's video and now Friday's video, so this is going to be every Friday and Monday, and then every other Sunday will be a settlement tour video. Um, hopefully that will fulfill your uh, Fallout 4 settlement uh, needs. Um, we do have a little something here that we've got to figure out what to do with. Uh, maybe this will just be a regular construction thing and I'll put a, a vehicle there that was digging. Who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, until next time, don't get irradiated. <laughs>